All right, we already said it over there. You cannot ignore the peninsula. That's right. My neighborhood not. almost got flooded. Oh, did it really? Yeah. Wait, let me introduce you to the folks who don't know you. <laughs> Kyle, folks, is back. He's from the kitchen uh, in Cypress Grill, the restaurant there, right at Embassy Suites in Hampton on the peninsula. So, yeah, it got a little rough for you guys, too. Got a little rough out there. And, by the way, I don't think I can go five days. I don't think Erin and I can go five days, either. Whoa, whoa. I'm it's, uh, that she can't go five days. It's tough, you know. I mean, but are you one who just goes shopping without really something? You know, yeah, you know some I'm people just like to shop. Yeah. I don't like to shop. Guilty. But Sorry. I'll go if I need something and then end up getting more. Okay. You know, well. anyway. Hopefully you shopped well at the grocery store before you came here. I did. Okay, so what are we making? Today we're going to make a pan-seared lane snapper. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to come with a wasabi ginger compound butter. Okay. And then we're going to serve it over top of some grilled couscous cakes. So a little Sounds bit different. Awesome. You All ever right. had couscous in a cake before? Uh, no, I can't okay. say that I have. A little different. All right, we're ready for that. We'll get started in just a second, guys. Time to cook. Okay, time we'll to talk cook. more. <laughs> about other things in a moment. But it's time to cook with Chef Kyle folks from Cypress Grill in Hampton today making a pan-seared lane snapper, ginger wasabi butter over couscous cakes. Correct. It all sounds terrific. Great. But complicated. Not so much. The Not butter so much. sounds complicated. The butter's a little bit complicated, but we'll, we'll get to that later okay. on. All right, here's the list of ingredients that you're going to want to get if you would like to make this at home. And later on the HamptonRoadShow.com, we'll put all the uh, technique, too, if you want to give it a try. And we're going to talk more about Cypress Grill. If you say, you know what, Kyle was so good at making that, I'm just going to go there. That's we would right. understand that. All right, and you've threatened that uh, you're going to put me to work today, too. So what do we do first? Yeah, so the first thing we're going to do today is make our cakes because we can kind of cook those ahead of time and just leave them in the oven, kind of like warm them out. Okay, you know, just the couscous cakes. So have you ever had couscous in a cake form before? I don't think so. It's kind of kind of different, right? Kind of strange. Yeah. Um, so couscous obviously is pasta, mm -hmm. uh, and what we're going to do is the basic couscous. You can just cook it with some kind of a, lo a lobster stock or a chicken stock, or just cook it with water if you want to. But anything that kind of gives it some flavor. Yeah. And so we've already done that, and we've cooled it down. It's, and it's just over here in the bowl. All right, it's cooled. It's cool. Okay. Yes. So now what we're going to do is add all the ingredients to make it into a cake. All right. So you want to knock yourself out with that? Yes. Are they pre-measured? Do you want everything? Everything is pre-measured. Okay. So you can just go down the line. Now. We're going to put some mushrooms. Scallions. And some scallions. Secret And this is a little bit mix. of a secret spice. It's some uh, dried ginger, hickory, mm -hmm. uh, some dried teriyaki, salt and pepper. Kosher salt? Kosher salt, yes. Okay. Kosher salt. And a lot of chefs recommend that so you can kind of really see I how like much salt you're adding. I like using kosher salt. I don't like iodized. I'm not a fan. Okay. What's this? And flour? then you got some flour. Okay. And then you're going to also add in a whole egg and then just one egg yolk. All right. Okay, so you got to separate that second egg. Gotcha. You just want the egg yolk in that second. Okay. So all that's going to go in. And then you just get stirred up. Stir all that up. All right. Because, I mean, I know chefs use uh, polenta, make polenta cakes. Polenta cakes, why very not, common. Why not couscous? Yeah, why, why not? not? Why not couscous? That's okay. what I say. And you said this is a step that can be done ahead of time too. So if you're having a dinner party and you want to be able to like chat before dinner, you can make it. You can make these ahead of time. You most certainly can. Save this will step. hold up in the fridge. I'm not gonna hurt you. I did. I thought I was gonna <laughs> get it with the spatula already. All right. So you've got the pan nice and hot too for the fish. Our pan. No, this is actually we're gonna put our cakes. Oh, the cakes. In here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're waiting on me. Are you? Get it together. All, all right. right. That looks good. Is that all right? All no, right. nope. It's kind of dry over here. Okay. Well, Sorry. Work it out. I'm trying. All right. See, I knew you'd resort to using one of the ones you already had done. Now, I got a few of these already done, but we're going to use some of yours, too. Okay. Now, you want to pack that scoop. That's going to be a two-ounce scoop. Okay. It's really packed. I washed awesome. my hands. Okay. Mm. All right, put it in there. Okay. <laughs> Look. This is intense. This is hard yeah, work. You know? Ah, oh, see? Natural. That. Okay. Natural ability, Chris. Natural. All right. And now, how long will it take to cook? Because they're very thick. Uh, these are thick, but remember, the couscous has already been cooked. So really, you just got to make sure you heat that egg all the way through. Yeah. Um, but what we're going to do is make it nice and golden brown. Mm -hmm. We want it to be kind of a crunchy taste on the outside. Mm-hmm. I washed my hands. Did I mention that? I did. Can I put that one in? Yeah. Wow. Hey, I like the scoop. You like those ice yes, cream scoops? I do. We use those a lot. All right. Can you give me two more? Yes. Yes, I can. So what is happening up there at the Cypress Grill? Uh, Cypress Grill, we're kind of winding down from the summertime. I see you brought your specials. We've been, specials. Uh, had a little special here for the summertime the last two or three months. Mm -hmm. uh, what we've been doing is any type of recipe or dishes that we've done on the show here. Yes. Uh, we are 
promoted in the restaurant. Now, if people go in there and say, hey, the Hampton Roadshow sent me, what happens then? Horns, is there a balloon drop, a discount? Maybe we should think a about investing and doing something like that. That's probably a good idea. Yeah. Okay. So, I know you're working hard over there, but just take a peek at these cakes real quick, okay? Yes. You see that color we're going to get there? I do. And then that's going to get that little crisp, crunchy taste on the outside. So these are, these are perfect. You but how are you going to get the, uh, like the rounded, how are you going to cook the sides? They're so thick and they're rounded. Well, we're going to finish this whole thing in the oven. Oh, okay. For about... I feel like it should land in some oil. Three, okay. So is that necessary or no? No. Oh, this right. is a nonstick pan. We're good. Okay. All right. Yeah. So about three or four minutes uh, in the oven mm -hmm. after we've browned them on both sides. Gotcha. Okay. Mm-hmm. So anyway, uh, Cypress Grill, right? That's what we were yes, talking about? Yes, we were talking about summer specials and stuff. Okay. Um, so we're winding down with that. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to switch gears here in about five weeks or so and go to our fall menu because we right like on. to do seasonal. All right. So fall and winter is coming up. So the next time I'll be on, um, we'll be talking we'll fall be talking and winter. Fall. All right, the next time you'll be on today, these will have been shoved delicately into the oven, and we're going to start working on the wasabi butter and the snapper. Snapper, yes. All right, I'm going to go wash my hand again, kick it over to Ariel. <laughs> All right, Ish. we are. I didn't know how we would get into this segment if Chris had not thrown us that perfect segue over here from birds to uh, fish. They're going to start flying into our hot pan here. The um, couscous cakes we did in the first segment. Woo. How are you doing? Uh, we'll I'm put okay. the. No, why are you coming toward me with it? I'm trying to get away from We're you. Good. We're okay. And you're coming closer with the fan. It's all right. It's all right. Kyle and I go way back. He can take it. <laughs> he can take it from me. Uh, but we're making that pan seared. Uh, lane snapper. Lane, lane snapper. Yes. Okay. It's snapping. You hear it? I hear the pan snapping. The okay. pan is clearly ready. So. The pan's hot. All right. Can you turn that pot on for me? Yes. Don't be. Don't do it. It's okay. No, I just want to make sure I get the right one. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> That's not it either. Where is it? Where's the knob for this, this one? one? Oh, this one. Okay. There we go. Come and then show you everything. What kind of heat would you like on that? Uh, that's perfect, actually. On high? You want oh. to stay on high? There we go. Oh, all right. All righty. All right. For the wasabi ginger butter. Yes. You're just melting butter in here. Okay. L let's get started. All right. Get serious. Right. I am. No hey, look, that was pretty serious. <laughs> I was about to get seriously angry with you if you, if you burn me. <clears throat> All right, so our butter. Yes. Um, when I make a compound butter, I usually don't like to melt it. Okay. I like to whip it in the KitchenAid. Okay. And I like to add all my ingredients to it. Okay. But we don't have a KitchenAid here today. We don't. So we kind of have our butter nice and soft. Yes. So go ahead and start adding all your ingredients. All the rest of the stuff. We have some wasabi paste. Yes. And some fresh ginger. Okay. Orange zest. So we were talking about how much better fresh ginger tastes versus like powdered. So if you can get it's some completely paste. different taste, completely yeah. different. And well, orange, orange zest. zest. Obviously, when you're working with fresh ginger compared to powdered ginger, the measurements are going to be completely different. Okay, you need more of the fresh. Powdered ginger going to be very strong, very okay. intense. Yes, you would need more. Honey. Honey. Mm -mm. All right, we have a little time to kill so we can play Get to Know a Chef. Get to you know You ready? Me. We're going into the speed round. Okay. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Yankees or Red Sox? Sox all the way. Yes. Hey, uh, hey, 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 Do you like to cook when you're not working? I love to cook when I have someone to cook for, but I currently don't Which have anyone to cook for. Oh, come on. You guys help me. That, that, needs, that needs a... Oh. Hey, so... Uh, Kyle Folks is his name. Are you on Facebook? I am on Facebook. You're in your early 30s? Yeah. No children? Do you do a background check on me? You enjoy... Know I'm a journalist. You enjoy uh, long walks on the beach? Who doesn't? Romantic dinners for two that he'll cook. He has a job. <laughs> I have, a, I have a job. <laughs> He's got a job. Have a career. That's right. All right. All right. We can hook you up. Are you whisking that wasabi in? I'm not paying attention to anything that I'm doing. Okay. I'm working on your love life. All right. I appreciate that. Yeah, Keep going, so, by the way. Okay. I did not put now you up I am. Did I put you up in there? Mm -mm. Okay. Nope. I like them. I like, look, they're finding out more facts originally from Springfield, Massachusetts. That is not very too, true. Not too far oh from my, my hometown. Gosh. Oh, what? we're not playing around. You, okay? you have a mutual friend with our producer, Susan. Oh. Oh, man. All right. That's scary now. All right. Seriously, so is it hard to date when you're a chef? I mean, because your hours are not normal. So far for me, it is, yes. Okay. I don't know. Am I doing something Look wrong? Look at that. 
Look at how <laughs> how you are. Hey, does his status really say single? It does. does it? Making sure. All right, so let's focus, okay? Can we focus? Sure. Focus I, for a second. I'll. All right. Good. Okay. All right, so um, our snapper is done because obviously fish doesn't take long to cook. No, it doesn't. Not when the so pan is that hot. We seared it on the on the skin side down. All right. Got it nice and crispy. Mm -hmm. Can you eat the skin? Absolutely, you can eat the skin. All right. The skin's awesome. All right. Now, like I said, our butter, I usually like to not melt it. Mm -hmm. So I have some butter that we've already Oh, up you over cooled here. it down again. So now it's, it's solidified again. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. All right. I'm going to let you finish the plating because we're out of time. We spent a lot of time trying to find you a date. We did spend a lot of time. Uh, and time you know what? Date. We'll follow up with Kyle. To find out next time you come here to cook, not only will we be talking about fall menu at Cypress Grill, but we'll see if we found you another little Red Sox fan to hang out with. Sounds cool. Okie doke. Cypress Grill is at 1700 Coliseum Drive in Hampton at the Embassy Suites Hampton Roads Hotel Spa and Convention Center. Give them a call 827-8200.